Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind us, we got another truck. Yes, uh, another 389, 78-inch raised roof with the shorter extenders. And uh, the truck is called Amber something. Golden Amber Effect. Golden the color Amber is Golden Effect. Amber Effect with that's, a hot fudge frame. That's what brown. I was thinking. It looks black from here, that frame does. But when we get up on it, it is hot fudge, uh, no metallic in it, just kind of like a really dark brown yeah looks it's cool it's different yeah. than black but it's still dark and it goes well with that color definitely looks good i don't know if you can tell it's super bright out today and the air conditioner's out in my pickup truck so it's really really hot <laughs> it's, it is warm it's, it's been in the 90s so yeah. you know a couple months ago we were complaining about how cold it was now we're complaining about how hot it is we sound like we're just a bunch of whiners tommy that's true i didn't think about it like that we're but, not whiners no we don't typically whine it's just you know the weather needs to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. Is it so much to ask? Yeah, can we to just have absolutely... 75? Can it be 75 and breezy? Yeah, we'll just have to find a, another geographic location to film this then. All right, you wanna go to the Bahamas? No, nah, we can't get trucks over there. We'll buy a big boat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna quit with the rambling. Let's flip the camera around. We're gonna show you the truck and we're doing a few things in this. It's pretty cool and, uh, and some paint work. And uh, yeah, so we'll just go right into it, show you the specs and stuff. Let's do a walk around. Let's do it. Here we have it, 2022 Peterbilt 389 extended hood with a 605 Cummins and 18 speed transmission. I was about to say, I can't you know, recall what transmission is in this. Yeah, right. We've still yet to do a 13. If this is your first video, uh, there's always a joke because it seems like everything we do is an 18 speed transmission. It's always an 18 speed. It really is. But you know what's cool about 18 speeds? The fact that they're 18 speeds. Right. So that's cool. Uh, we'll go. Let's go over the specs. Let's talk about specs real quick. So this truck is 295 inches long. Uh, the frame is actually got a zinc coating on it. Helps like up north with uh, the salt and and all the you know crazy stuff they put on the roads in the winter. So it helps it last longer. Uh, the frame is like we were saying is a uh, hot fudge. It's brown, and the truck is golden amber. And we'll get up close to it and show you. But it's super neat color. Um, real quick, what we're gonna do to the truck. Uh, we're not doing a ton, but we're doing Dynaflex exhaust, I believe, or let's just say we're doing exhaust. I don't 100% know which exhaust. Customer's going to get back with us on the exhaust in the morning, which you'll see that in this video. But uh, we're putting 8-inch exhaust on it. We're doing a visor. The visor is a 12-gauge reverse bow tie visor. We're doing five lights on the roof, um, kind of spacing them out a little differently than you normally see. And um, we're painting the tanks. We're painting the visor front and back and we're painting the def cover um, to match the truck, the golden amber. So that'll look pretty neat. Back on to truck specs, Tommy. Other yes. than, I love this color though. Seriously, it's a cool color. I thought you said we were going to truck specs and then you go right back to color. Well, I just looked at it and it's just, I, look, I just like the color so much. <laughs> but anyway, truck specs. Truck specs, uh, yes, like I said, 605, 18, uh, 18 speed horsepower. Um, Front suspension. Yeah, it's uh, air ride with a what five and a half inch five and a half yeah. inch drop axle on air ride with dual leveling valves, disc brakes all the way around. Yep. Um, I what gear ratio would this be? Three thirty six, I think. Yeah. Well, the, so we we got them in a couple of different ones, but yes, this one's probably a three thirty six with that six hundred five horsepower. So uh, here's your frame. The color, the frame goes so cool with that golden amber. It really does. Uh, truck has full lockers. Again, disc brakes. And um, I'm trying to think other spec stuff we should we should say here. I, you know, I see we, we do this so much that you just think that people just like should remember all these pieces from every other video, but not really. I mean, so it, it, we, we kind of covered all the basics from the outside. So we'll just go to the interior. This is a platinum interior truck with what's called the old style gauge package. Yep, we'll uh, jump in there and show that too. Uh, which, you know, doing another quick explanation of that is that it does not have the digital gauges that are your speedometer and RPM. Right. And uh, tan interior is widen this thing out. Which tan interior goes really good with this golden amber. I freaking love this color. I can't uh, help it. Uh, yeah, honestly, when I got in the truck, I was driving it over here from just the other side of the parking lot. I was like, wow, this... This is a really nice color combination and everything. I love I, it, the the saddle tan goes really really good with the golden amber. I think they call it Sierra tan. Yeah, that. That. <laughs> <laughs> but like, same difference. Whatever. 
They both start with S. Come on, man. Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there you kind of go. Uh, obviously, this has got the weed burner exhaust on it, which means that you get both your boxes under the cab uh, are matching. So you got a matching toolbox and battery box. Uh, it has dual Ramy mount uh, CB setup in it, smart sound interior. Um, so it keeps it nice and quiet and uh, keeps it well insulated, hot and cold, all that kind of stuff. And uh, 18 inch Texas square bumper, yada, yada, yada. It's pre-wired for uh, lights on the breathers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing great on the spec talk, man. It's so good. It's absolutely good. So good. But now we're going to pull it in the shop, and we're going to start getting some work done on this thing so we can take it down to the paint shop and get some paint work done on this thing. But this thing's cool. It is really a cool truck. Yeah, the color, uh, yeah. That, I, I, I'm often disappointed by how these uh, these trucks look in videos. I really wish we could just find a way to show everybody what these trucks look like in real life. Yeah. Uh, we, need a little, we need a little help from the sun. This color changes so much with, uh, you know, between sunlight and no sunlight. You know, currently, it's the sun's kind of hidden behind the clouds. So you kind of get this deal, but it looks like, and the sun might peek out in a minute but you saw that earlier like when the sun hit it it's a cool color it is a really really cool color um so yeah what do you think we should pull her into the shop yeah man we need to get this thing inside so we can get started on it so that way it can go to the customer we also got some paint work and a couple other things we got to do too yeah so. well we'll do that and we we'll like on it. we'll roll on them little time lapse deals and just uh get her knocked out all right We got the truck up to the paint shop and um i mean it went down the road pretty good right tom oh yeah no the thing rides great um you know 605 horsepower can't remember what transmission it was it's probably the same thing every, every <laughs> it's other an truck. 18 speed <laughs> but uh you guys have seen like the time lapse we kind of just blasted through that real fast we've got a lot going on in the shop so you know on this video it wasn't real detailed on us putting it together uh, per se but uh, just kind of give you an idea of what's going on with this thing. Um, so we did we did get the visor installed and we've got the cab lights on, which I really like this spacing on the cab lights. I think it looks super cool. Uh, the visor on this looks awesome. And uh, you know, the visor is getting painted to match the truck inside and out. Um, I, I, this color is so cool. Like when it hits the sun, it's got so much definition into it. The light kind of dances around. You can really see the body lines on this thing really good. Um, we're painting, while it's here, we're painting the tanks on this dude. So the tanks are getting painted, the def cover is getting painted to match the truck, and the fenders are getting painted to match the truck. Um, those are the WTI single hump fenders we put on here. And uh, 
in the back I really like really like the lights for the back so you know we did eight four inch round red and just stuck them in a row straight up I think it goes well with the kind of the lines of the truck and everything oh yeah honestly that's I, I think that's the first one we've done on the channel that that was like that we've done a few in the past but we never did them on the channel but the uh yeah i've i've always loved that specific light setup primarily because you don't see it real often it's definitely different so it's uh i i thought that was super cool i, I really like the way they did that i can't wait to see these fenders and tanks and everything else painted this golden amber it's gonna look super cool um, some things to show you guys so we'll take now it's in the paint shop all these brackets are gonna come off and they'll get painted the bolts and all that stuff and they'll get painted that that hot fudge color um, you know we kind of went in here put the cap on there and cleaned up the top just kind of make them a little nicer looking and uh, I think even when we get it back we may be putting uh, maybe a rear t-bar or center panel or something there possibly uh, customer hadn't really decided yet if he wants to do anything else or not I know once the customer gets this truck back he plans on doing some more stuff to it over time and uh, it's kind of you know where it is at the current moment we may fingers crossed we may be putting four inch cab sleeper panels on this I'm just waiting on one cab panel to come in for this truck and if they get here in time we're gonna come up here and put them on and they'll get them painted and, and on the truck. If they don't get here in time, then the customer's gonna bring it back to us in a few weeks and we'll knock that out and that afterwards. Would, that would really set the truck off. It'll look so much better Gosh. once we get those panels on there. Yeah. But as you guys know, we, we deal with the exact same things that kind of the entire world is dealing with right now as far as parts shortages go. So we're, uh, we're kind of on standby with some parts here and there, but. There it is. I guess we'll drive it in the paint shop and drop it off these guys. They'll get it knocked out, and uh, when you see this thing next, it's going to be a lot different looking. Way cooler. It already looks cool, but it's going to look way cooler when it gets out of the paint shop. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. All right, we're pulling this thing in the paint shop, and, uh, man, I can't wait to see this truck when it's done with the visor all painted back here, and it's just going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot of those colors that, like, when you paint the back of the visor, they kind of go away because it's real dark. But I think this, like, uh, what is this, sunburst orange? Golden amber. Golden amber. That's that's going to look really good on the back of that visor, and it's going to stand out a lot better than, like, your average, you know, um, like, just, like, you're, then you're better than, like, the darker colors. Yep, for sure. And if you look real quick, check this out. We've got Bill's tank. Bill's tank. It looks like they're getting ready to put some paint on it. Top side of that's going legendary black. And a bunch of the bottom of it's going red, which we actually made our own color. There'll be a video coming on that pretty soon anyway, but yeah, that thing's cool. Well, I guess we ought to just leave this here for these guys so they got something to do, and yeah, we, we need to get back to the shop and get some work done. Yeah, we, we need to get back. We got plenty to do. All right, let's do it. All right, that's it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. This truck is going to look so awesome when it gets back from paint. I can't wait to see it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm super excited about it. Those guys always do a really good job up in Jamestown. So I guess kind of to be continued on this one, you guys will get to see it on the next. Yeah, the, the next, next video, we're going to walk around this full thing. It comes back in the shop from paint. We got a couple little more things we're going to do to it, and uh, it'll be ready for the customer. And yep. then we'll take it down the road and show you guys all the ins and outs of it after it's finished. It's going to be super cool. I love the colors. Oh, yeah, me too. No, it's, it's definitely going to be really nice. And... Uh, one thing we always forget to mention, but we're not going to forget it this time. If you guys want some really cool semi-casual swag, uh, it's up on the internet right now. We have a couple of Peterbilt logoed stuff. Uh, we got all kind of stuff. Semicasualshow.com. And, uh, you know, our hats are pretty neat. Um, side of them says all class, no gas, semi-casual on the front. And then we got the, we got the shirt here. Hold this. Yeah, yeah. Super cool looking shirts. You know. You can get so. those and then all the cool Peterbilt stuff. So uh, yeah. you just go there, check it out. And you can also see a lot of our videos and uh, there's some blog stuff that's going up there now. So a lot more stuff to kind of keep up with how things are going over here in the shop. Yeah, so we're going to start adding that to it. Go buy our gear, <laughs> go to the website <laughs> and then uh, uh, like, subscribe, find us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And then we'll see you guys next time. Later. Later.